So it's 9.30 at night. I've got to do this ILC in the morning and I'm kind of freaking out. This is me putting myself in your shoes. Looking at the guiding questions, to what extent is our perception of the relationship between the author and Ceylon developed in this passage? Hmm. And how does the manipulation of syntax reinforce meaning in this passage? Well, before I get working on this, I've set myself up. I went into Blackboard using the helpful video and I pulled up the lit term, syntax. All right, so I need to pay attention to this while I'm reading. The way words are put together, the structure of language. Well, I know syntax, please, that's easy. But it should include, oh, helpful, the discussion of length, complexity, like simple, compound, and type. Declarative, interrogative, exclamatory of sentence clauses and phrases used in the work, and note shifts in these. All right, well, maybe I've forgotten what a compound sentence is. I mean, I haven't, but I'm being you. Um, but I don't. I do know what declarative, interrogative, and exclamatory are. And even if I don't remember that, I could say, in the syntax, he's providing facts in fragments. So then I'm reading it. My brother's wall in Toronto are the false maps, old portraits of Ceylon, the result of sightings, glances from trading vessels, the theories of sextant. I don't know what that means. I'm going to go into references. I mean, review. And then I'm going to look up a the source. They couldn't find anything. So I'm going to look up the dictionary. What it is, is it's a way of navigating. Hmm. Then I start to think, this is navigation. Is that something? Is that possible motif? We've seen some stuff about journeys. So then I like, I'm like, Ptolemy, who's that? Mercator, who's that? And I don't know. And I'm like, oh, well, hey, they've got this great illusions and running in the family thing. Is it here? No, it's not. Um, thanks very much, illusions thing. There's some cool stuff on Neruda. No Mercator. So what do I do? I Google it. Look at the map. Okay. Oh yeah, that doesn't even look anything like it. Why does he think he gets to draw the map? What? And then I look at it. It is a slipper-footed elephant. So this is exactly what it looks like. Now I have a picture in my head of what he's talking about. And that is a ferocious slipper-footed elephant. How many elephants wear slippers? I don't even know. Is this accurate? Not really. But you get the image of what he's talking about. And this fact that, check out the title of the map, um, that these people who are coming in, these other foreigners were coming in and were trying to reinvent or recreate the story of this place. Well, isn't that a little bit similar to what um, Andache is doing? He's going to recreate the story, to rethink it, to remap something having to do with his father. Okay, going on, we see mythic shapes. Well, I don't, what is a mythic shape? A mythic shape is the shapes of the figures, maybe, the shape of the elephant, the shape of the amoeba. But shape then also becomes a motif even within this passage. We see rectangle, um, amoeba, Amoeba is also a living organism, but it's a shape. We have pendant, and then we have um, colors throughout, and then we have animals, and then dolphin and seahorse are put in parallel to cherub and compass. They have the same relative importance then as they are in that um, on these maps. We have Ceylon floats on the Indian Ocean, holds its naive mountains. So again, these are lists. He has multiple sentence fragments here. If this were my passage and I was actually writing on it, I would bracket this and say, sentence fragment, sentence fragment. And then I would look for when it's not a sentence fragment. When is it a long sentence that has a lot of information in it or when it's not a run on, right? So we have this listing sentence, a syndeton, and then you would look for some of the other things that are here. We have um, alliteration that draws our attention to all of these different names. The purpose of this passage primarily uh, on the surface is to instruct us about the different types of maps that have been made of Ceylon and the fact that Ceylon itself does not even get to name itself because the Portuguese, the Europeans, the Dutch, the English change its name and they change its shape on the map. They keep recreating it in the forms that they want. To a certain extent, isn't that what we do with memory? We look back and we try to remember it as best as we can and we draw the map of our relationship, our family, our love, whoever it is, the ancestor arriving in 1600. And we see that, just like that, Andache is reforming ideas and recapturing them in his own map. Running in the family then becomes a sort of a map where he is capturing the ideas, he is changing the shape, and but he is coming from within. He's not trying to impose the shape on his father. He's gathering the information in order to find out what that map of his father's life would be and what elements would be there. 
I'm running out of time. I'm just about hitting five minutes. But again, I would have the literary terms packet open. I would have how to prepare an IOC. I would look at this, engage. I've just come to grips with the passage. I have some good ideas about it. And then I'm going to feel something about it. I would feel mad and feel angry if someone was telling me who I was or dictating who I am or trying to make comments about my culture. And he's not. He's trying to be objective, but he is from his objective tone, he's getting us to feel frustrated with all of those people who came in and were telling him what to do. Then I would get that outline out and, and look at break glass and I would write out my assertion and I would go back and I would find as many different techniques as possible. There's certainly metaphor, all kinds of imagery there. Um, again, as the structure of named and listed things. And then I'm always going to look at the beginning and the end for the meaning. Oh, I see. Look at these last three sentences. These then give us the meaning within this passage here at the center of the rumor, at this point on the map, at the center of this memoir, at this point on the map is his father, the person that he needs to find and understand. Andache.